Good morning guys, Jacob Folger, artist sculptor here, and we are going to make a little meditating figure. And all I'm doing right here is I took a ball, you just saw me do that, and I sh shaped it to be in this position here, like that. And then I'm going to take... A little bit of clay here and a little ball like this. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Let me do that. Because I need a head. So then what I do with that is I take my fingers like this and I roll kind of back and forth. And that creates like a neck. And then I'm just going to kind of make this into like an oval shape, and that becomes the head. You know, it's just very roughly done at this point. So that will go on here. Now, most of what I do is I sculpt with my hands, you guys. And I highly recommend you do the same thing. Um, but I do use tools, and I'll show you how I use them. This is a wood sculpting tool. It has a very sharp edge here. I'm going to wet it, wet the tool, and I'm going to scratch the surface of the clay here and on the bottom of the neck. When I do that, that wet tool creates glue. It's called slip. See it? It's slip. That is glue, and this is glue, and when I put the two pieces together, they interlock like that and become one. And then all I have to do is blend that in, and I've got my little beginning of my figure. It's just the beginning. Okay, now for his little face. I'm going to press in like that. And that creates the beginning of like his eyes and the bridge of his nose. Now I'm going to take like a little new clay, a little bit of clay here. And I'm going to roll it in kind of a new or like a teardrop shape like that and i'm going to put it on his face to bring out his nose which is it, it, it got kind of big it's a little bit big but we'll we'll sum it down Now, I'm going to tell you something. I am a self-taught artist. I am not teaching you how to sculpt the anatomy of the human face. I am teaching you how to sculpt it the way I sculpt it as an artist. Okay? That is how I have to teach because that is what I know how to do. <laughs> Got me? If you want to learn how to sculpt the anatomy of a human face, go look at a classically trained artist. I am not that person. <laughs> I'm going to take a little ball of clay like this and put it right here and that is going to become his sleeping little eye. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to roll a little new clay. There's plenty of videos out there, you guys, that show all that stuff. Personally, I find it extremely difficult for anyone to learn that way unless they have some kind of gift. For someone to, you know, do these videos, really those videos are more to advertise your sculpting skills, not to teach. That does not teach. 
I think what I'm doing here is, you know, very teachable and easy to understand. He's got a big nose. I know. It doesn't have to be that big. You can slim it down. You can just, like, pinch a little clay off. Like that. And just, you know, form it. So there, he's kind of sleeping. And, you know, this guy has got to have a beard, man. All my, you know, figures, pretty much, they have a beard. I just really dig beards, you know. And I have a beard, too. And uh, it's not much of one. It's very wispy. But I really like beards. And I mean, when I usually when I sculpt a face, a uh, human figure or a face, you know, it's got a beard on it. So I'm just going to get a little bit of clay and roll it into like a ball like this and then back and forth, or I call this to and fro, to and fro, and I come up with a, a little shape like this, a little cone shape. And then I'm going to kind of shape it, this is his beard I'm sculpting right now. And I'll make it like that. I'm gonna wet my tool. Score where the beard's gonna go. Score the beard. Put it on his face like that. Instant little meditating guru guy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna take a piece of clay like this and I'm gonna roll it to and fro like this. So it's shaped like this and it's kind of pointed at the ends. And I'm gonna wet the tool and this is gonna be his mustache. And the score, where it's going to go. And this scoring and all this stuff, you know, it takes a little bit of time. But if you guys do that and you do it the way I'm teaching here, you're not going to have any problems with cracking clay. And the sculpture is going to be sound and hold up for years and years and years and years and years. And you will be able to give your sculpture to your grandkids and pass it down and down and down. So do it well. This is art, man. You know what I'm saying? You are not a player. You are a sculptor, an artist. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm sorry, I digress. <laughs> okay, now we have to kind of work on his, you know, his body. So I'm going to take uh, all the clay and then roll it into a noodle, and you can also roll on the table. This clay, by the way, is called Marblex. And I do recommend it because when this stuff dries, man, when it's hard, it is so hard and so durable. And it's really easy to sculpt with. And I mean, why not use a good product to make your art with, you know? So I want to like bring out the the whole robe thing going all the way around. So I'm going to put this new little clay all the way around.
And when I do something like that, I always want to come up underneath and blend that all in and make it like one piece. Mm. Okay, well, that's a start. Now I'm going to take, set, set this off to the side and I'm going to roll a new of clay. I'm kind of doing it off screen. I'm kind of, I've been doing that for a while. I've been rolling the noodles and shapes and stuff off stream because I don't tend to have a lot of room on the set. But I'm in a hotel room right now, so I have lots of room. <laughs> so I'm going to put, I'm going to put arms on them. So I just want to get them kind of you know, to see where they're going to go and how that's going to work out. Mm -hmm. And then before I put them on, I definitely want to do all the scoring. Mm -hmm. So I wet my tool and do that, all the scoring. Yeah, there we go. Got his arms on there. Usually it's it's good to have like a surface, some kind of hard surface of some form to work on. You know, I don't have all my tools and stuff with me and um so I'm kind of limited as to what I can do as far as that goes. But I have this box here, and um, I can use that for the meanwhile. Okay, now... What I want to do is uh, kind of start working on his robe a little bit. So the way I do folds and stuff like that is I roll a noodle of clay like this. And I do want to do all my scoring and all that stuff. And I'll put, so I want, the first thing I want to do is just bring out this, do, the drape, the bottom of the robe a little bit. Like that. And then, what I'll do is I'll take another noodle clay like this and I'm I, I, at this point I don't really have to score because there's gonna be a lot of it, it, you can do it or not but I mean some of it I mean it's gonna be a lot of sculpting this in it's not gonna just be laid on okay there are different ways to sculpt but you know you can see now that's a that's a fold so And that becomes a fold in the robe. And you can also carve in folds like that. But I think it looks a little bit more, you know, uh, gives it a little bit more depth if you, uh, you know, sculpt it in with, uh, you know, by laying in a, like a new little clay like I just did. So I'm just, uh, 
Boom, another new off play here. Lay it on. And kind of flatten it in there, you know, press it in like that. And then just sort of carve that in a little bit. And you can see how that's coming together. And uh, you can bring it all the way around, you know, and, and actually send it out all the way around. And you can do like uh, folds going the other way. Like you can put like a little fold or crease coming down like that. So that's uh, something you could do. For the arms, uh, you can take like a tool like this and you can um, just uh, sculpt in like uh, little marks, little creases. And you can take like a little clay like this. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. And you can see that becomes like a little sleeve. And you can see the figure like comes together so like quickly. And it is not that complicated to do this. It's not rocket science. Everything that we've done here has been a series of making simple shapes of clay and assembling them to make the figure. A ball for the head, oblong shapes for the eyelids, oblong shape for the nose, noodle for the mustache, uh, oblong flat shape for the beard, noodles for the arms, noodles for the folds. Uh, you see what I'm talking about, right? This is simple shapes. <laughs> and it makes learning very obtainable. <laughs> Okay. One thing I do recommend is keeping your tool clean and this edge here sharp. You know, wipe it off frequently because um, if you don't, then it won't be sharp and it won't score the same way. And, and, and scoring can be really important sometimes. I know here we didn't really do it, but you know, you don't have to do it all the time as long as it, it depends on the situation. But if you have any question about why I didn't score here, but I did in other places, if you don't understand why that is the case, then you must score all the time, okay? Because I did try to teach that to you, so if you don't understand it, then score all the time. That way your pieces will always be, you know, have a lot of structural integrity. Okay, I want to do his hair, so I'm going to show you how I do hair. So all I'm doing right now is scoring his head. And he's going to have long hair. I guess you, I guess you could even say it's a self-portrait. <laughs> So what I'll do is I'll roll a noodle clay. And what I'll do instead of scoring like this, I'm just gonna wet it really good. And then I'm just gonna place it kind of like on here. 
Let's see if I can get a good angle on that. And take the hair down. Like that. And another needle of clay. Longer. Oh, yeah, everything nice and wet. Because water is like glue, also. Again, though, scoring is really important if you can, you know, do it and manage it. Okay, I roll here. The back is a mess, I know. <laughs> you guys are absolutely going to be able to do this, and it's going to be so much fun. It might be a little bit more lumpy or bumpy. I'm gonna go ahead and score. I'm just I, I kind of forgot. I, I, go, I go ahead and score. Yeah, your pieces might be a little bit more lumpier, bumpier than mine, but. I mean, other than that, you know, it's, it's you're going to be able to do this, absolutely. We're getting there. Now, if you find yourself having trouble doing these small figures, don't do small figures. Do big figures. When I first started sculpting, I was doing life-size figures. Not life-size, but like what I would do, like one time I did Santa Claus's head, and it was life-size. Sometimes it's much easier to sculpt big, but I cannot do that now. I'm, you know, I'm getting older, and I, I used to make really big things, you know, big gargoyles with wings, you know, long, two foot tall with a 14 inch wingspan with one gargoyle I had. And then you can take like little, uh, little bits. And just fill in those little areas. And you can just take your stopping tool and you can just like carve in the little hairs of the beard and the hair and the uh, hair. And you can take your tool and for the mustache and you can like carve in this little line there which kind of defines the the mustache like that.
I'll probably do some more work on the beard. Maybe I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But anyways, yeah, well. Okay. Now he does. Uh, he does need um, eyebrows. And I definitely want to like wet that, like kind of glue it on there. So small. And then uh, I want to put some texture in there. Okay, now it's time for you guys to learn how to sculpt the hand. First, I want to bring out the robe a little bit underneath his hand, where his hand is going to go. And, you know, sculpting hands, again, this is not, this is my self-taught way to sculpt a hand. It is not going to be like a classically trained I mean, I went to art school and all that stuff. I didn't do that, so obviously, I mean, it's going to be different. Um, so what I do first is I'll start off like by creating the palm of the hand. Just by like putting that on there like that. I will position my own hand and look at it as I want it to be in the sculpture. And it's going to be something like that. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is to start off with is I'm going to roll a little new of clay like this. A pretty skinny one. <laughs> like that. Now, it's really hard to score little tiny things like this, but really for this, I highly recommend it. Take your time and do it right because if you don't, it will not last, and you have to do it. You have to do a good job of it. All right. Um, so what you want to first do is make a little loop, and this is for this this shape, the uh, forefinger and the thumb. Bring them together like that so they're touching. It helps to have everything moist, you know. And then you just put on the hand 
like that. Oh, you didn't see. Oh boy, I'm sorry. Well, you can see now. I just put on the hand. And then I'm just going to kind of bind it in a little bit. Now, all I do is I roll little tiny noodles of clay for the other fingers. And all the fingers are folded down. So I'm just going to lay them on like that. It's a little tedious, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> but you know, it's part of the deal. And if you guys take your time and do a really nice job of it, people are gonna be like, man, you are good. You are going to have respect. <laughs> so practice. And do a good job and take your time. And now I'm just kind of using the tool to, you know, sculpt in little fingers. And then once you get it like, uh, you know, sculpted in fairly well, you can take a paintbrush and just really, not with a lot of water, just kind of go in and blend it and smooth it. And you can actually use the, the brush to kind of even sculpt a little bit. And you can see, you can see how effective that is, you know, it's really not, it's not like what a real human hand looks like, but it is really close and uh, convincing enough. Roll this really, really skinny. And you know, definitely don't. I mean, if it's if it's really dry, you know, of course it's gonna crack. You know, especially when you take a little clay like that and you bend it and curve it and stuff like that. If it's wet, if it's not wet and it's dry, it's just going to crack. So, you know, um, don't get mad at me. <laughs> also, um, if you're having trouble getting it to go around in a circle like that, you can use a, a paintbrush.
like that. And then slide it off, you got your little loop de doop. Okay, let's have a word from our sponsor. This is the first video of its kind on my channel. I am a formerly homeless artist and sculptor. I was homeless for a long time in my youth. I started out at 14 years old living by myself on the streets because I had a very abusive dad. So, now, part of my journey and walk in life is to help homeless people. Because, I mean, I want to help out, you know? And I do have a channel for that, but it only has 20 subscribers, and nobody really pays attention when I post a video there. But here I have a platform. People listen to me because I'm able to teach and show people stuff. And they, I have a platform. There's already people listening to me here. And so I, I'm using this platform, this channel, to promote my work with the homeless now. And this sponsor is actually Worthy Socks, which is an organization that provides socks and other needed care items to me um, as a frontline uh, outreach organization that helps homeless people. So I do outreach and homeless work. I go out and talk with people on the street, give them care packages, money, uh, sometimes I take them out to lunch. Sometimes I buy lunch and bring it to them. Uh, you know, I bring them, I mean, this is like care packages and, and also love, you know, love and compassion and stuff like that. Your donation will be very helpful in my work and it doesn't have to be any amount at all. Listen, if you can donate 50 cents, seriously, man, that would make a load of difference. And also, it would make me feel like you people actually listened to me and that I mattered to you and what I did today mattered and what I'm saying to you matters and you heard me. And even though you may not have a lot of money or you might be disabled or whatever, you could make a 50 cent donation and it would actually help a lot. And if a lot of people did something like that, it would really make a big difference. So please consider it. Make a small donation. Any money that comes in off this channel, the income from the videos and the advertising and the super thanks and all that stuff, any money that comes in from this goes to my homeless work. Okay? So... Whether you do a super thanks or donating to Worthy Socks or clicking on some of these commercials and buying something that YouTube is advertising, you know, and you, I mean, yeah, that helps. Anything like that. So, thank you. There'll be a link in the video description for Worthy Socks. Please check it out and uh, make a donation. And uh, if you do super thanks or anything like that, I know and I know who you are. I will definitely let you know. I will do shout outs to people and I am a very grateful person and I will definitely let you know I am grateful and thankful for your support. So uh, keep that in mind. Okay, well, I think he's coming along. 
And now, I mean, for, for me, like what I'm going to do for this, uh, you know, so the tutorial is already 40 minutes long. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot more time detailing, but I want to go a little bit into smoothing for you. And I'm not going to do the whole back, uh, the back of the sculpture right now. I may do it later, but not in this tutorial. I just want to kind of bring that sleeve out a little bit more. I do like to keep my tutorials down to about 40 minutes. And then uh, for smoothing, uh, a couple things I recommend. First off, it's not the best brush. I am compromised. I don't have all my equipment here. But you want to use an oil brush to start off with. I'm going to use a nylon brush. I have a cloth here. I get the brush a little bit wet and then I just smooth. And the way I'm smoothing is I am dragging the brush into it. If you put if you put the brush in like that, it stabs and makes marks in the clay. And you don't want to do that. You at this point you're trying to take the marks out. Oops. And then as the clay gets on your brush and builds up, you know, get it again, get it wet, and wipe the clay off and go back at it. And I, I recommend just taking your time and just actually you can make it like a meditative experience. You can have a friend over. You know what I mean? So, uh, the other thing is I am going to be uploading more frequently. And it's really not about building the channel, but trying to get my message out there. Um, so, I'm just going to make videos and upload. And I'm not going to worry about a schedule. Because, again, it's really not about building a channel. It's about getting my message out there. So, that's what I want to do. <coughs> Again, my name is Jacob Folger, I'm an artist sculptor, and I try to make learning how to do art obtainable and easy and fun on my channel. I have over 600 tutorials on sculpting clay, making jewelry, sculpting wire, um, doing digital art, uh, painting, this a long list. There's a lot of material on here. Feel free to binge watch. Please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you get a uh, bell icon so you get a notification when I upload. Please share it with your friends and remember to give a video a like, leave a comment, tell me where you're watching from. And what you thought of the video, please. I'd like to know what you're watching from. It's, I just find it very interesting. And that's about it. I do appreciate your support. Again, the links and stuff and tool and supply list, all that stuff will be in the video description down below the video. Thank you, guys. Take care.